So this tutorial is going to go over different passing chords you can use to get to the um, 4 or 1 because how we're getting to them is like, it's like we're just, like as you can see I'm going in fourths, right? So in fourths it's like every time we go to another one it's like the new one because we're here. Then we go to, went to that one. It's almost like a 5-1 Just for that one 5-1 like 5-1 So it depends how you look at it You can look at it Yeah, I'm going to the 4 I'm still in C Or you can look at an F and it was a 5-1 to one. So Yeah, I'm going to break down those chords So the first chord we have is a C major 9 Which is C G uh, D E, G, and B, and why is the major nine because of the scale? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You got the ten or third. You got the five. You got uh, seven. And yeah, that's it. But basically, this is C major nine altogether. But you take this note, the C, root note, and put it in the bass. And it's still, remember, the left hand and the right hand come together to make up the chord. Don't always think of it as separate right hand and left hand. They all come together to make the, the name of the chord. So, same thing. It doesn't matter where you put the C. So that's it. And then, you can invert it. to have it on this inversion. Alright, so that's a C major 9. Um, so then we'll go to C 13 chord. The reason why so it's C, C, G, B flat, E, A, D. The reason why it's a C 13 chord is because this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 or 30. And we got the, the nine, right? It's the D nine, it's still that D. Then you got the one, the five, you got the flat seven, which makes it dominant seven to begin with. So this is the whole chord. You can do grace mode right before. Also, you can notice this is a quarter quartal chord. It's fourths so away, meaning major scales for each of them. E major, one, two, three, four. A major scale, one, two, three, four. Quartal, okay. That's why people call them quarter. All right, or there's different ways you can look at it to just memorize now. So I told you the theory. You can just think of, you know, you get the one, the five, the flat seven, and then. One, two, three, so three, six, and two, three, six, two, whatever, whatever key you're in. Same thing, three, six, two, uh, three, six, two. Okay. So just practice that, and now I'm going to actually give you some bonus chords you can use to get to the four or one. All right, so we're here. You can use this chord. This is also a quarter chord. And think of like the two, five, one of whatever key you're in here and see. Or don't even think about it. Like
right, that theory behind it is going to be this. You have the E and the bass, right? So this is the scale, the E scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? So you have the one, you have the third, the E. You have, this is a seven, this is a seven, and then you flatten the seven to make it dominant seven. And you got the sharp. Nine. This is eight. Nine. You got the sharp five. The sharp nine and sharp five chord is usually used to get to like a six, but sometimes you, you can go to a one or a four. So one. Like, this is yeah. So that. Um, and then to get back to the one. That we use the same makeup as this, basically. All right, so that's that. But you can also use this to get back to the one. All right. What that is is a similar chord to the chord we just used to get to the four. All right. So it's a D flat. This is this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So you got. Seven and you flatten the seven to make it uh, down to seven. So you got and you sharpen the nine, sharpen the five. All right. So we're gonna do that same chord to get to the four now. So most of the time it's like a half steps away. So see that same chord as this. This is a, this is G flat major scale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So what you're gonna do? You're gonna flatten the seven. So it's dominant seven. You're gonna have this, 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 and then you're going to sharpen the nine. Of course, so you kind of look like half steps away and make it a sharp, nice, sharp five chord, right? And basically, you go to whatever note you hit, and then you make that a major third. So, one, two, three, so major third, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, seven, flat and seven, so it's seven, and you got a sharp nine, sharp five. These are things I just kind of stumbled on, and then there's some more. So you could do this also, and add that down to get to the four. So it's basically like going to flat seven, but not necessarily. You would think that you have the um, C still there, so you think like you still have the C there because remember the bass and everything. It all comes together to make up the foundation of chord. So. This is really the chord. So you got a C a flat seven, which is makes it dominant. You got um, the nine. You got the third, the six or thirteenth, and nine again. So you hear this from time. So you have that, and then this is a real, real nice one. This was one that I actually used. Um, I found this one in A flat. So in A flat, right? And trying to get to the four. Sometimes you hear people do like, right? Or, all right. But this, this actually like I don't know. It sounds better to me. I heard it in Stan actually. 
finish the chord. hit all these notes in my right hand and C when I'm going to this four chord. So this would be like the notes would be like dun, 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 dun. It's, it's, it's harder. So basically I'm gonna tell you what this chord's name is though. So what this chord is, this is all the notes. So it's a so this is a chord, so one G flat chord, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you got a one to three to G flat, and then you have a G flat augmented, meaning raise the fifth. Uh, so that, and then the seventh, the nine, yes, and the flat five. So you can look at it as a sharp five, flat five. So both the sharp five and the flat five. Alright? G flat sharp five flat five. But how I am able to just memorize it real quick. Um and it's really nice chord is to you take the augmented chord a half step above it and put it in your left hand. Then you take the augmented chord a half step under it and you put it in your right hand. And that way you'll be able to play in every key. I'm gonna do the same chord on this to get to the C. You see that? Right? Um, and then there's also a chord, real nice chord, I just just made like a couple minutes before doing this video. Just like you said, you could use this and think like it's the five. So now use that and make this like the five. So keep the right hand augmented chord. B augmented, B major, sharp five, and put it like that. So what chord this this makes it this chord? It's a G dominant seven. This is eight nine. This is the ten or the three. Sharp five. So G dominant seven sharp five chord. And then this is the one for the to get to the other. So that's a whole bunch of different passing chords that kind of just mess around with through going through different keys. So I hope it can really help you um, practice it and I hope it's a blessing and it really um, helps you guys for real. So take care and God bless you.